G'day everybody, I'm the Halbert and welcome back to Minecraft. Um, today, as you can see by the lack of stuff in my inventory, we died in between episodes. Um, I have no idea where Ferris is, so he's currently missing in action, whether or not we'll find him in the future. Who knows, but we're starting from scratch, which basically screws up everything that I wanted today, because we, we basically have no diamonds. Um, so today we're just going to rebuild. Um, so it's essentially we're going back mining today. So when I say we've lost everything, I do mean we've lost everything. I mean, it's, it's heartbreaking for me because I just did a little bit of exploring outside episodes and found more diamonds, uh, found another village or two. And that's just all gone now, so um, we're going to try not to let it dampen our spirits. I was so tempted to start a new world, but then I fought against it because it wasn't fair. I mean, we lost cro the crossbow and everything as well, which is gutting, but these things happen sometimes. Um, so we're literally just going to start rebuilding. I still need to make a bunch more tools than what I've got. Um, they're all going to have to be iron, unfortunately, because lack like of diamonds. So, I'm going to make those tools and we'll start heading out. Hey, Mariju, I'm back from the dead. Yeah, surprising, isn't it? Anyway, um, we're back at the barn. I just want to check to see what I had here, because I couldn't remember. I've still got the enchanting table there, that's fine. Um... Uh, I'll take the bow purely just because having a bow is useful. But apart from that, I think we have everything that we need to start mining. Uh, and I think what we're actually going to do um, is we... Well, I'm going to collect this wheat up first. But we're going to go back to where we started mining our um, Hobbit Hollow. Or the hole that we basically made. Because... Um, I'd love to make that into sort of like a strip mine, just sort of around. Um, just for convenience sake, that it's just there and we can just expand it whenever we need to. So that's where we're going to be today. Okay, so we're literally going to start digging down to Y level 11, I believe we're going to go to. Uh, purely because it's just a little bit easier and then I'll come back and we'll start looking to see if we can find any diamonds and stuff. And we have hit Y level 12, which is excellent. So, uh, we're literally just going to branch off in random directions at this point onwards, because that's probably the most efficient way to do this. So, I'm going to say we dig off in this direction here, and hope we find some diamonds. Okay, so we found a cave, which isn't the greatest thing in the world, but it leads to a lava lake. Um, so... I'm going to grab this redstone, explore a little bit. If I find anything, I'll come back. If not, well, we'll just move on to a different direction, because this is just going to be a pain to get through. Well, I didn't find anything, so we're just going to go in the opposite direction for now. Um, but I thought I'd talk a little bit about Minecon because, uh, I'm actually recording this the Monday after Minecon happened. Uh, all of the reveals that were shown, they were just really, really cool. Like, the Never update is going to be the next big one, which I'm so excited about. Uh, I'm actually half tempted to hold off on going into the Never, just because of that, but that might be a while away still, so I might just head in there anyway. And we almost find diamonds just mi the seconds into it. I'm, I'm going to dig around a little bit, see if I can't find any more, just like that. Right, I think that's probably all of them, if anything. Um, so yeah, four diamonds right off the bat. That's excellent. So we're just going to keep digging. But yeah, the Never update looks really cool. I really love what they've done in terms of Never Walk Fortresses. Never Walk Fortresses? Forests. Um, uh, if you look at the images, I might edit a few on screen, uh, if I can, and I probably will try to. Uh, it looks like that we might be getting a new wood type from there, which would be awesome if we are, because uh, we all know how I feel about new wood types. Isn't this, is this the cave? I've already explored a little bit. No, nah, it doesn't look like it. 
Also, I don't know why, but it looks like all the textures of the ores are upside down a little bit. I could be wrong about that, but it looks like that is the case. But it could just be that I haven't played Minecraft in about a week, so... Anyway. Um, uh, I really like the Piglin Beasts. It's nice to see another uh, hostile mob in Minecraft. Never. It's going to make Exploring the Never a lot more interesting, and frankly, I'm really excited to see what they do with it. Also, they finally added something that gold is useful for, which is really handy, because now that um, gold armor has a use other than being a waste of gold, um, it might actually inspire players to make it more and actually use that as your main armor and traveling than never. Because obviously the piglin beasts are going to cause uh, quite a problem. I'm actually just going to block this up because I can't be able to explore it now because we just want to just sort of mine straight forward I think for the time being but I'll leave it open like that just so I know it's still there also honey blocks not whilst not the most exciting thing in the world uh, by the looks of things they'll have a lot of app, um, sort of um, a lot of uses uh, I can imagine a lot of people using them to build sort of downwards elevators it's going to be, it looks like it'll be a very, very cheap um, way of making flying machines as well, uh, and possibly even more efficient. So slime blocks might not be used anymore for the things they use before currently. Also, something I forgot about to mention, uh, I just thought of it now whilst I was editing this video, is that uh, honey blocks will probably be used in mob farms a lot. I can imagine a lot of really good uses for them there. Uh, I can imagine a lot of people are actually going to use bees to create these really cool farms because um, I didn't realise this about bees because I, 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 well, I don't even know if it was revealed. Uh, but the fact that I can actually make crops grow faster is pretty awesome if they ju just flying over it with pollen. Uh, forever, forever crops. Uh, I think I said crops. I could be wrong about that, but anyway. Um, but yeah, it's really cool that they're able to do that. So that's really exciting. Uh, I can imagine loads of people are going to be making some incredibly interesting farms using that. Um, but yeah, uh, what else is there? Soul Sand, um, Soul Sand Deserts, I think they were called. Uh, they look really cool as well. Uh, nice how you can get a new type of fire now using Soul Sand. Um, yeah, in terms of updates, I think that was pretty much all they revealed. Uh, if not, I'll put some text on screen about updates and stuff. Yep, I completely forgot about some quite important stuff. So the first one being uh, Mountains on the Biome Vote, which is pretty cool. Uh, I was hoping for Swamp, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, but that means we're going to get Snowy yeah, Snow, whatever that means, better terrain generation, and goats. Goats are awesome. Uh, that and also target blocks. Uh, target blocks are looking to be very, very cool, so I'm very excited to see what they do with those. But one thing that really caught my eye, which I hadn't really looked into much before, is Minecraft Dungeons. Because um, that looks like it's going to be really, really fun to play, for me especially, because um, I'm a big fan of sort of like adventure games. Uh, I play Legend... Um, probably my favourite game series is The Legend of Zelda. Um, purely because it, I just love just kind of exploring the world and um, fighting mods and stuff. So if you guys want me to play it on the channel when it comes out, I probably will anyway, but let me know. Um, it looks like honestly something that I'd be really interested in playing. And who knows, I could probably do some collaborations on it with some people. Okay, so we've hit another massive cave. That looks like our hole's just there. Um, we're also out of torches, so I'm going to quickly make some, and then we will be back on, well, back on the road, so. Um, hey guys. So yeah, um, I'm going to talk about what I died, when I died, because I wasn't recording when it happened, I was actually trying to make my way back to, um, back to the hollow or back, back to the barn, depending which one was closer. Uh, so I was exploring these underwater ruins and uh, drowned tridents are extremely powerful and I completely forgot this. So pretty much they just whacked me in the face and bye bye countless amount of hours worth of exploring and stuff. Uh, 
kind of pains me to say it because I it, I spent a lot of time uh, doing it. Oh, um, I think I'm going to make these into um, redstone uh, blocks just because storage makes life a bit easier. Yeah, so that takes up a few, a lot less slots. Uh, I'm actually going to sort my inventory. I'll be right back. Okay, our inventory sorted, so back to the exploration. Um, there's a hole. There's a hole. Um, what else? What else? Oh yeah, Minecraft Earth. So Minecraft Earth is looking to be probably one of the best AR games I've seen so far. Uh, I haven't done too much research into AR games as a whole, but as far as I can see. That is going to be super fun to play. I'll be sure to play it when it comes out. Whether or not I'll put that on the channel though, because um, I don't know how easy it would be to screen record stuff on my phone. Um, if it's easy enough to, then I might do it. Uh, if not though, it, which is the more likely situation, I will probably just play that in my free time. Um, but I'm really excited for that because it looks really, really cool. Uh, I love the sort of whole adventures system where there's like mini dungeons around, which is pretty cool. Uh, actually, to be honest, what they should do, if they can implement that sort of thing into Minecraft with like just naturally occurring puzzles, that'd be awesome. Um, whether that be through like redstone and stuff or just coding. But the, the, it would be nicer if it was like redstone and stuff. Uh, but yeah, if we had like more puzzles or based stuff in Minecraft, because at the moment the only puzzle related things that we have are like the um, jungle temples, which are, ex well, they're very difficult to find and nobody bothers doing the puzzles anyway, um, because you can just break through them, which is it, a bit of a shame because um, I think the puzzles are really, really cool. Uh, am I still at Y level? Yeah, I'm still at Y level 11. I don't know why I'm not finding any diamonds, but, well, any more diamonds, I should say. I've been digging for a long while. Hey, more diamonds. Awesome. Uh, do not need to reload all the chunks, but we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, yeah, that was nine. What? Aren't I always meant to come in chunks of eight or less? Or have they changed that? I'm pretty sure they're meant to come in eight or less. So I'm gonna dig around a little bit because chant, because that might be in two together. Quite possibly. Now, oh, well, that goes in my dime pickaxe anyway. Um. But no, that must have been, like, just very, very rare. Although I've never heard of that before. Huh. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go back up to the surface, because we've been... We've been digging for a good amount of time now, so uh, I'm going to run to the surface, and we'll think about what to do when we're up there, because I currently have no idea what to do. Actually, you know what I want to do? I kind of want to explore the nether today. Um, because that's what I kind of want to do before. So, I've made a new diamond pickaxe. Um, I'm probably going to go run and grab my water bucket from the barn. And then we'll see if we can't find a pool of lava to get a lot of obsidian from. So, I think there was one over here, which we did start mining out a little bit so I'm gonna check quickly check over here and see if I am correct in thinking that aha uh -huh, I was right I thought I, I, I thought I did um, hmm. so I'm gonna go get, grab that water bucket and we're gonna uh, we're gonna get some obsidian and maybe head to the nether this episode because um, as far as I can tell from the recording that we've already done we don't have much to work with so, yeah. To the never. Okay, that's all for an obsidian. So it's time to go put this portal somewhere.
Uh, I'm probably thinking near the barn for now. Uh, because I know I've got some flint over there or some gravel or something over there to help. Uh, although I don't have any iron over there. So <sighs> I guess it's time we got over there and got some materials. Because I'm pretty excited to go to the never, not going to lie. I was going to hold off, but it's not going to be for a while the next update. So I'm thinking, what the hell? Um, it'd be nice to um, get to places a lot quicker as well, using like never rail systems. And of course, the only way we're going to get started by doing that is by... First of all, finding the flint, because I think that's all over the other place. I'll go check now, actually. So it turns out the flint was on me the whole time. Uh, I'm just an idiot and didn't, um, I'm just an idiot and didn't see any of it. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, anyway, since we're over here anyway, we might as well just put it here. The bamboo is growing actually quite nicely. Uh, I'm probably gonna quickly break that, grab all of that, and start planting it more. Because I've sort of slowly been growing this bamboo in between episodes. Um, it'll be nice to get some scaffolding blocks. Which I think you use bamboo for, because they're quite nice blocks to use anyway. Um, but let's get this portal set up. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. and one, two, three. Awesome. That's like the portal. Uh, check we don't have anything too valuable on us. Um, I might make make a few more torches, actually. Yeah, there we go. A few more torches just to go in there, and let's head on through. Bye-bye, have a married you. Okay, we are in. Uh, that lava is already coming straight down. I didn't bring any... Uh, five roof blocks. Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> I forgot how fast the lava moves in the nether. It looks like we actually came into a pretty nice spot. Uh, we are very quickly going to take the corner of that, just so we don't get lost here. Uh, there we go. And we might as well start mining up some quartz and stuff. Because I love the nether. I, 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 as quiet and barren as it is, it's... Got another court, which is one of the best blocks in the game, in my opinion. Um, or best, sorry, best uh, materials in the game. I mean, it makes pretty much all of the super important redstone components. It makes uh, really, really nice building blocks as well. So we're just going to explore around a little bit, see if we can't find anything. Hey, Pigman. I'm sorry, but that just sort of looked cool. Hold on, let, hold on, let me just turn the rent distance real quick. Yeah, I thought so. That just genuinely looks really, really cool. I mean, you'll have to ignore all of the chunk borders and stuff, which are just slowly loading in over time. Uh, might help if I went a little bit closer towards them. Yeah, there we go. Just massive pools of lava and everything. Oh, so cool. Anyway, I'm going to mine up this quartz and we'll explore around a little bit because... I forgot about the ghasts, but, um, but yeah, we're, ideally we'd find a nether fortress because of, um, it'd be nice to get some materials and stuff, etc, etc. Um, also there's a chance we'll get nether chests, which uh, can hold quite nice items. Uh, I can't remember if they hold diamonds or not, they might do, so it's always nice, but we're mainly here for the quartz um, and just to find the fortress because the stuff that you can find in the nether is just awesome in general. So uh, we're just gonna mine out this quartz and we'll find what we need to find. I also love the ambience in the nether. It's just so eerie, so creepy. It's absolutely perfect and I really hate going across like this because it's just so nerve wracking. But honestly, this is just so cool. Like, it, just listen to that. It 
is just so cool. I love it to bits. I can't I can't help but think like how much thought went into that because um, I've recently gone off to university, which is why there was no video last week. Apologies for that. Um, it wasn't because I was mourning the death of my cat. Um, well, I well mourning the death of my cat in game, of course. Um, but yeah, I've recently started a course at university in um, creative music tech. So like this stuff is just really cool. Do you mind? I'm trying to look everywhere. This is just perfect. Look at that. Alongside the ambience, it's just so cool. I'm hoping we don't run out of food. Um, speaking of food, yeah, the Never Update. Uh, I mentioned this earlier in the episode, uh, but like, I can't wait for that to come. Like, the Never's been something that hasn't really been updated, aside from ports and with skeletons. Um, but that's been about it since it's sort of getting, because um, the Never is probably one of the most beautiful places. I mean, the only, well, I say the most beautiful. It looks so dark and so creepy and stuff, but that is just awesome. Like, you can't really deny the lava falls coming from the top. But there's so much more that they can do with it. I'm so, so excited for that Never update. I, I can't stress that enough. Uh, obviously it's going to take a while for them to do a lot of stuff. I, I won't take all glowstone, by the way. Um, but there's a lot that they've got to do. So I'm just excited to see what they do with it. I think that's enough glowstone for now. Um, I'm trying to stay relatively near to where our portal is. Purely because I don't want to get lost. Um, uh, I did take the screenshot of the coordinates just on the other chance that we do. Um, but, well, that's ghast. Um, I like to just, hold on, just two random blocks of gravel just right down there. Somewhat hilarious, but, are you going to shoot me? Please don't, you just keep despawning and everything. I'll say despawning, just unloading, I suppose. Shift key don't fail me now. <laughs> Oof, okay. Uh, I love how the clocks just go crazy in the nether. It's just pretty, pretty nice touch by the developers. Hold on a minute, did I just hear the wool sound from destroying that? That's a bug. That that is for sure a bug because that's the sound of wool being destroyed, and it, I think it should be that if anything. So, uh, devs, if you've already found that, I'm sorry for repeating it, but that exists. But yeah, uh, we're just gonna keep exploring for a little bit longer and collecting a few more materials, and then probably head back. No, that's still not an ever fortress. I'm too eager. I'm too eager. All right, two stacks of never quartz. I think that's a pretty good so i'm gonna stop mining up nether quartz for now that's really good xp so um not that we need a bunch of xp right now because we still need to gather more materials and stuff but other than that i think we're just gonna explore in this direction a bit oh little baby zombie pigman we're gonna have to fight this ghast uh i don't know probably yep ow I don't particularly want to die, so there we go. Return to center, please. Yes! Oh. It's been so long since I've done that, so I don't know if it would work or not. But yeah, I did. Time to go down and see if I got any gas tears. Ah. Maybe not that way, though. That way looks bad way. Whoa, that's lava. Ah. Okay, I'm so glad that lagged. Oh. 
what do I want? Ah, 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 ah. I forgot it basically flows like water in the nether. Please don't die. <sighs> Talk about a close call. Uh, I'm going to let my health recover. And then we're going to figure a way to get down there-ish. Alright, so still not quite fully health, but I mean, that's probably as good as we're going to get, so... We did get a gas tier, that's awesome. Uh, that means we can make a regen potion, right? Well, I think that's what it is anyway. Anyway, I'm completely out of food now, except for a spider egg, which I do not want to eat. Uh, you'll have to excuse me, I've got the hiccups right now. Uh, so I think we're just going to head back out, and we might end the episode there. Might be a shorter one, because I'm still getting things sorted, trying to work out a new setup for everything. Um, so, uh, yeah, so we'll probably get back to um, the overworld, and we'll take it from there. All right, we're back. And uh, Bambi's already started crying a little Hello again. Alright, let's go in here. And uh, I'm assuming that's what's going to Excellent. Uh, looks like it might run out of coal, actually. Or oh, oh not. Never mind. Uh, man, we're really filling up on iron ingots now, aren't we? Um, We're going to have to probably make a storage system at some point for all the materials we're getting. Um, but other than that, I'm going to check how much, well, how long I've been recording for. Uh, and then we probably will end the episode there. Uh, I can't think of much else I want to do at the moment. Um, but we, we've had, we, considering we died just before the episode started, because literally we basically just did die before I started the episode, and it, I, we, yeah, I rage quit, like, straight away when that happened. Like, I did not want to deal with that. I'm, 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 I'm not proud to admit it, but I'm admitting it, because, yeah, I was so close to starting a whole new world, but... Um, but yeah, we're gonna eat to make sure that we don't starve to death, because... I know we can't do that in the game mode that we're in, but... I still don't particularly want to get too hungry, so... Uh, let's grab the beetroots, because beetroot soup is very easy to make. Um, I bet I can never remember the recipe. That's how you do it. Let's just make a bunch of beetroot soups. I did not mean to make that many. I will. I can't remember how much saturation does, so it might be a good thing. Uh, it feels a decent amount of hunger. And we've got one spare. But apart from that, uh, I'm probably going to end the episode off there. So if you have enjoyed, um, I'd like to thank you for watching my video. Um, I'm trying something different with my intros. I don't feel like asking for likes and stuff is me. So I'm just not going to do that anymore, frankly. It, uh, if anyone was confused about the intro yesterday. So... Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'd like to thank you all for watching. I've been the Harbit, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.